Yobachi 2007 back at you with another one. And we've got the evilest of single moms for you today to take a look at this police interaction video for men to think about the kind of women out here that we're having to deal with and uh, getting some things on notice. And to understand what your children are left to, what your seed is left to when you're not around and you allow certain women to just have all control with no balance and with no other eyes on what's happening, have all this control over your children and what some of them do to their children and with their children. We always want to hear about deadbeat dads, but the active activity of some moms is a thousand times worse than a man being a deadbeat. We thought that this was the worst mom that we could encounter. This lady who basically ran over her boyfriend while holding her infant child in his arms and then uh, retrieved the child initially and then left him at the house while the man was on the way to the hospital, left the baby alone so she could flee to her sister's house in another part of Florida. We thought it couldn't get any worse, but as soon as we thought it couldn't get worse, it got worse. As that meme that a lot of women like to use goes, let's get into this and, and hear what's happening with this lady. She's being arrested for her boyfriend, not the 15 year old's boyfriend, with her, with the mom's own adult grown boyfriend. And here's all the interactions. She's being uh, arrested here. And then we're going to hear from the teen girl being interviewed. Okay. I'm a good person. I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying you are. That's not my job. Okay. My job is detective says that you're under arrest. I need to go find you. Okay. Okay. Okay, only a second. Yeah, the reception is not good. My boss is asking if it will, if it will be okay for us to interview the child. Yeah, was concerned. Okay, yes, we can do officer say that's fine. We can yeah, do an officer. Yeah. Right. My name is Bob. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. correcting me. Uh, my name is Barbara. I work with uh, Florida Department of Children and Families. Yeah. And Officer Vasquez is here to yeah. come and visit our home. My job is to speak with the children mm -hmm. and the family. Is not home, so with officers present, so long as we don't enter our home, we can ask you questions. She has a boyfriend, and I was going to go spend the night over there. She wanted me to. Over there where? Um, to his house. Like, Do you normally go spend the night at his house? No, 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 that was... I saw text messages between her and him. And so you've seen his messages? Their messages. You've... You've seen their messages? So I do so, because she's not good with, like, technology and stuff. Okay. And, like, I guess sometimes when I just have it, like, I, like, I'm curious because she tells me a lot of times that, like, he said this and that about me. And so, and I've seen, like, like, I looked over her shoulder sometimes and seen, like, him say weird things, too. How do you know that they're specifically talking about you and not talking about another? Well, it's because they use my name. So what, what, what did you say? Give me, like, a sentence about the vaginal private um, part and your name was mentioned. What did that message say? So if you're not following all of it, this is the 15-year-old girl being interviewed about uh, why she is... Uh, what the, what the claim against the mom is in specific and how was she being set up to be abused. Uh, what she was saying is she basically saw text messages between her mom and the boyfriend saying to bring her over for sex, to buy her blue panties so she can get ready. Um, we'll have her take some pictures of this, that, and the other. And just basically uh, the two of them getting together to conspire how they're going to groom this girl and get her into a sexual act for a website that the boyfriend was running of uh, underage girls, either naked or, or maybe him having sex with them. I don't know if he was going to put that on the on the site, but it, that's what he was trying to set up. So, and the, the mother was going to use this young girl who is her adoptive daughter, but adoptive, whatever, whatnot, this woman is trying to traffic her own 15-year-old daughter who she should be protecting, obviously. And instead, this is what the single mom is doing. Let's listen to some more. But before you do that, can I get you to like and subscribe? Like, subscribe, notification bell, and we're right back to the program. Private part, and your name was mentioned. What did that message state? Has this boyfriend ever always been in the picture? Or how Just recent? Like three years, I think, or somewhere. So they've been together for about three years, approximately? Three years? Yeah, that's what she told me. She told me they've been together for like three years, yeah. Has he ever come to the apartment? N not here, but he has come to our apartment that we used to live in. How do you say, like sexually suggestive? Or like sexual in the windows, I guess. I have like double meetings. Be more specific. 
Um, I said like a lot of weird things, and like I say like just a lot of weird questions. Like what? Like, you're like, a question. Had you're a question. Or like, yeah, or like, um, like, like he was trying to buy like me underwear and stuff. So he's asking my mother for like my sizes. And then the boy. So, have you ever been to his house before? No. Not to sleep during the day? No. no, no. Okay. Never. Um, I don't know specifically because before she was doing substituting, but she just like became a teacher and like getting the teacher um, like salary now. Any so, history of substance misuse, drugs, or alcohol in her room? Yeah, alcohol. No, no. No. I mean, she's asked me to take like like sexual pictures of her and stuff. But she's never like What do you mean like, by that? Well, like sometimes she asks me to take like pictures of her. Like like and she'll be in like lingerie or something. Mom is a model? No. Okay. So when she asks you to take pictures, she just dressed and asks you to take pictures? Yeah. So let's make sure we get it all. The mom had just become a newly minted teacher within the last year. She had been a substitute teacher before. Now she's a full-time teacher in high school, but she has a lot of access to other girls and boys as well of this age group, of the same 15-year-old, to go after, to use as fodder for her and her boyfriend's uh, site that they wanted to do and for their abuse. But this, again, is not rare. There are a lot of women out here doing this. And while the narrative is always about men being predators, Men are dangerous. We must make sure that men aren't around children and we've got guardrails and we're keeping an eye on any man who's ever around any children. Women fly under the radar and a lot of them are doing this. Look at look at this list. Look at it's just on and on as we go up and down the list of teachers who are molesting their students. It's like an everyday thing. They used to come up in my feed because I follow some of these crime channels. Um, those haven't been coming up that much anymore. At one time, I was seeing them almost every single day. Look at this on and on with it. The more I scroll, the more loads of teachers molesting their high school and junior high age uh, students. And it, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, the whole narrative, again, of it being men are predators, men are dangerous to society. We, if, if, we had, if we just could change men... And, and bring down their testosterone and this male toxicity, then society would be so much better because it, it's in, endemic to manhood. It's endemic to masculinity, toxic masculinity. That is the problem here. Yet women, when they get power, when they get put in a position to abuse, they abuse just the same and just as much as men, if not more. They, they're, they're violent in their relationships. They usually can't beat men because men won't accept it. So that happens at a minimum, but when it's women and women, lesbian relationships have the most domestic violence. Let's get back to the program. And we'll be picking up with the fact that this weird old mom was having the 15-year-old daughter take provocative pictures of the mom in the lingerie. I don't know if this was for the website or this was a separate website from the underage website that her and the boyfriend were trying to do, but this is what this weird old mom has this child doing with her. You you take you make websites? Well, I yeah, well I was trying yeah, but I haven't I haven't made it yet because. Oh, is it a gift of yours? Or you? I'm just told me to do it. Can you do it? Yeah. Very smart. Thank you. Okay. We'll take care of your car. Let me get you in handcuffs first, and we'll work on that. I got other people coming. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Take care of all that for you. Let me get you situated first. We're going to slow down a little bit, okay? Where's your daughter at right now? Oh, she's, she's in DCF. Okay, so they did take her? Yeah. Okay. Just lean up against your car. I'm going to wait for another partner to get here. Okay, we'll take care. So I think this arrest is later. I think they were interviewing the daughter at the apartment. They got that information. And then the mother came home later, and they were just waiting for her. And they got her as she pulled up. I don't know if, yeah, they talk about this being her apartment and putting her keys back into the doorway of her apartment, her, her purse and stuff later on in this video. So I think that how that that's how the setup went. You're getting your car parked, so we don't need to tow your car, okay? I'm a good person. I'm not doing anything. I'm not saying you are. That's not my job, okay? My job is... Yep, she's a good person trying to set up her daughter for sex with a grown man. What a wonderful lady she is. Mother of the year. 
So, detective says that you're under arrest. I need to go find you, okay? Okay. I was going to surrender either way. Let's see what... All right. We'll go, we don't need to do that. That's fine. Just lean up against your car. Will I lose everything? No, I don't know. Just turn around. Okay. Just lean up against your car. Uh, I have my concealed gun in here. It's in your car? Yeah. Okay. You want us to... Secure we can see that this bat is all about just herself. Um, that's clear already with the fact that she wanted to pimp out her child. And all she's worried about here is, will she lose everything? Yes, hopefully so. Hopefully many, many, many years of freedom. First of all, of course, lose custody of any children and never have a right to be in the presence alone with children ever again or to be able to have custody of any children even if she births them they should be taken away from her but she should not be getting out of jail before menopause if there's any justice in this world but we often know everything is a light hand with women in this gynocentric society in this gynocery they always are uh there's always understanding and forgiveness for women's vile and vicious and bad acts whereas men the hammer is going to come down much harder this is one of the problems with society the lack of accountability for women is out of control and they continue to we continue to get so much misbehavior because of women's lack of accountability they don't fear that they will be held responsible for their activities they're all the more prone to engage in all kinds of wild behavior and disrespectful behavior towards people in society Secure that in your house for you? Um, as long as my dog is there. Okay. No. Charlie 6 is one Okay? Yep. Um, I'll, I'll comply. 42 hours? I'm not here to hurt 483, what's wrong? We're going to no. start slowing things down a little bit. We'll get She's not here to hurt anybody. She just wants to pimp her daughter out to a grown man. But no harm. No harm, no foul, I guess, since it didn't go through. Charlie 2 is We'll get your car situated. Pleasure. And then we'll go from there. All I'm concerned with is okay, you move your okay. you and taking you to jail, okay? My safety? Yeah, yes. Okay. Everything's, everything's safe, so we're good. Um, where is your firearm in your car? It's in the bottom of the seat. Underneath your seat? Okay. Do you want us, I'm sorry, did you want us to put it in your house for you? Um, you can leave it there. I think it'll be You're okay. not concerned with cars getting broken into? They, yeah. they like to steal guns, yeah, so yeah. that's not a good can idea. you put it in there? That's and fine. What about my dog? Do you have a family member? Locally? No. Let's rewind that back. What about my dog? Do you have a family member locally? No. Can't leave them in there because then there'll be animal abuse. Yeah. Well, uh... Now she's worried about animal abuse. Daughter abuse? Perfectly fine. Setting your daughter up for rape? Yeah, that's that's wonderful. This, this is the mind of many women these days. Of course, most women are not sexual predators and wouldn't do this to their children. But these are the, the minds that you're dealing with, with when you leave your children alone without the fathers in the life of these single parents and no masculine balance. You've got this bat. They care more about animals and animal rights and all the rights of everyone else except for the people that you should be most concerned about. They care more about uh, animals and the environment and, and, and hugging a tree than they care about their own child's well-being. This is a sick person. But again, the, the overarching point I want to get to, and there's not much else that happened in this video. It's back and forth, her standing outside and, and them getting her situated to take her to the jail. But this, is, again, is just not uncommon anymore. And we have to reverse the narratives that paints men as natural threats, all the bunch of predators. We get all this commentary from women these days that uh, men are by nature uh, uh, aggressive or by nature are, are out to get women in so many ways. They don't feel safe around men. Uh, they, they don't feel, they rather, they rather the bear, the bear is safer than being with the man. They get to choose. They rather run into a bear out in the forest because men are so unsafe. But again, as I postulate that when it comes to women, uh, anytime they get in a position of authority to where they can affect the opportunity to ex exercise power and exercise violence and to uh, do things that are negative and horrible, they take that opportunity. Just this scroll of teachers alone is never ending. It doesn't stop. Teacher after teacher. There goes the OG child molester from back in the 90s 
Mary Kay Letourneau, who got pregnant by her, I believe, 13-year-old boyfriend back in the 90s, and then ended up marrying him after they had, it was sick. Um, of course, they end up getting divorced, <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure she filed, right? That's what, the, that's what the women always do. But this endless parade of just teachers alone, not to mention other women, at least this one got 15 years of sleeping with her daughter's boyfriend. Um, this lady had sex with her boyfriend after this dude raped and killed her daughter. Just absolute sickness. This lady is upset about her daughter so-called being obsessed with her boyfriend instead of getting rid of the boyfriend to keep her daughter safe if the if the boyfriend is showing any cross interest or even if he's not if there's a problem with the daughter being attracted to this man and trying to come at him sexually the fact that she would choose to stay around this man and have this man still around her daughter is just sick and it just demonstrates that the popular modern narrative that men are all predators and men are the ones to be feared and women are everything nice and wonderful and the world would be such a better place if women were running things and we didn't have men around or that we could defame men by demasculating them out of their so-called toxic masculinity which is not there's no such thing what they're calling toxic masculinity is just men being naturally men and pretending that women aren't just as toxic again anytime they get power they do the exact same thing the number one Physical abusers in relationship are in lesbian relationship. They have more domestic violence than male-female relationships. Why? Because when women are in a position to dominate somebody, most women can't beat up other men, right? Only time that happens is when men allow it. And there's a lot of that happening. Women abuse uh, men physically, emotionally, as often as they can. But most of the time, most men won't let women beat them. But what they, when they get in a position where it's woman on women, they are more prone to abuse, more prone to domestic violence than men are. The whole narrative of men being something of fear in society and women being put upon by men's violence. But women are just, um, again, all out here victims and it's just fine and dandy is a lie. Women are also lesbian relationships divorce the most. Uh, uh, male gay relationships have the least divorces. Again, the narratives about men are false. And this ideology has to be torn down. And that's what we're here to show today. We're glad that that young lady is okay, that um, she was able to text pictures. She was able to get her mom's phone, I think, take pictures, send it to her older 18-year-old sister who notified authorities and she was saved from being uh, sexually violated by her own mother and his and her boyfriend. Well, I'm your Bachi 2007. I'm going to get on up out of here with this one. Definitely hit the like button if you didn't already. Like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good. Yo, Bachi 2007. I'm out.